Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Grandia Parallel Trippers. Last time, Fina got injected with poison by some sort of tree deity. So we need to go and find Alma, who left for the volcano in order to get some medicine or something. If you don't remember Alma, I don't blame you. I had to look her up myself. She is a um, an NPC from the first Grandia game. Um, she was a doctor back then in Dyke Village. Gadwin is also in Volug Volcano, and he was actually a playable character back in uh, the first Grandia game, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, now that we've uh, solved the Sea of Trees, we can open up the Cave of Trials! This place is not optional. We'll be going here later. Um, and yeah, we can go ahead and grab this warp point. I guess we might as well. And I might as well recover, too. So yeah, we're not going to be spending, like, any time in here at all, but I figured that I would just show one little tiny thing off, which is this treasure right here. Hey, get the escape ability, which basically um, allows you to run away, like with a better percentage chance of running. So yeah, that might be good for exploration or something like that if you really care. Um, also, since last time, I did a little bit of um, changing my accessories around. For David, I gave him the Enhancer to raise his attack power by, by 10 points, since he's using that sniper shot pretty often. Uh, for Justin, since his AP is kind of low, I gave him the Rainbow Stone, and he has another Enhancer as well for his attack. And Sue, I gave her the Crystal for some extra AP, um, and then I have some other stuff here, like the Death Charm that I got last time uh, from the boss there, this plant-proof thing I could go ahead and equip if I really cared. Um, but honestly, let's see what I want. This does raise her magic attack and her HP, so yeah, we'll go ahead and equip that. Why not? And it gives her some protection against the plant species. So yeah, it's not really that bad of an accessory. So now we have Volug Volcano open to us, so let's head on over there. Yeah. It's the only volcano in the world. Oh. You don't care about Sue? Like, Sue doesn't even exist right now. Oh, a large eruption. Oh no! How the hell are we gonna go and stop an eruption? Like, what are we gonna do? This isn't Dragon Warrior 7, for God's sakes. Oh. Okay, well, thanks for the warning. And, yeah, we'll just go ahead and, um, open up that warp point right there. We just wanna go there just to open it up. So here, we actually have, like, a little side-scrolling area, which is kinda cool. Yeah, the mechanics are kinda floaty as far as jumping is concerned, but it's there. Let's see. I do wanna fall down this hole right here, and then we'll get some treasure! We'll get a defense seed that raises one person's defense permanently, so that's pretty nice. Let's see what we got going on over here. Ooh, more treasure! Awesome, get some dried meat. Uh, that raises one person- or that restores one person's HP by 100. But again, items? I don't really like items all that much, because you can't use them, um... What am I trying to say? You can't use them in battle, you can only use them out of battle, so they're not all that hot. That first aid kit restores 100 HP for everyone, so that's pretty nice. And our final treasure in here, the dried meat. Again, more useless items. Yeah, the indoors always lead you to those outdoors right there, so we're back at the start. Let's see, we'll jump down here and then fall to our doom to grab... Oh, a poison charm! That prevents the poison status ailment. So that might be nice if uh, there's some enemies that poison you. Might as well go ahead and have that. Oh wow, I'm actually doing really well on jumping. I'm shocked. I thought that I would fall. <laughs> it's not exactly hard jumping, but it is me. You know, I am playing. Oh. Huh. Well, that's no good. Let's see if we can't go in here and uh, stop this volcano. Yikes! Yeah. Um, all this lava here? It doesn't matter, it's just the background, it's not gonna do anything. However, those fireballs being shot out will, so just jump over them, and you'll be fine. Let's see. Over here, these things, you can actually climb up them, it took me a while to figure that out. And what do we have? The Confusion Charm, that prevents the Confusion status ailment. So again, that's pretty nice as well. And the Water Shot! 
This is a very nice ability for Sue. Only she can equip it um, for our party members. So let's go ahead and uh, give that to her. If I can navigate the menu, that would be great. It deals roughly 48 ice and weapon damage um, to one enemy. So it's very nice. See, it's a bow attack and it is a water elemental attack. So that's very nice for her. And then we have to get out of the menu as slow as humanly possible. Okay, but let's just move right along. Let's see what we've got going on down here. Yikes! Fall to our doom! Okay. Oh, shoot. I should have hit that switch. Damn it. I'm gonna have to go back. Oh, well. I need to go back this way anyway. And what do we have here? 500 gold! Awesome. See, here we have some warp points, but I'm really more concerned about grabbing this treasure than dealing with those little points over there. Awesome, get a blank card. Sweet, I'm gonna have to check that out and see uh, what we have there. Let's see. Okay, so we can't do anything up there yet, but let's go over here to these warp points now and uh, see what we got. Let's try this one first. Ooh, treasure! Oh, the Crackling ability, that's very nice as well. It deals 30 ice damage to all enemies. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go ahead and give that one... I'd like the sniper shot on him. Maybe Justin can equip it? Let's see, we'll take off Burn. We don't need Burn right now, but Crackling would do very well for him. Okay, so let's see, we'll warp back, we'll try this warp point right here as well. Eh, it doesn't really do anything though, but I figured I'd show you where it warps to. Why not? Okay, so now let's go on back. Let's see, just keep on going up here. And then we have to fall to our doom down here. Yeah, you don't have to do this part that I'm doing right here, but if you just want to explore every um, area, you can. Anyway, climb back this way, and hey! We're back at the start! Yeah, see how that works out there? If I didn't say so before, if you hit the select button, you can actually see a map right here. So it'll tell you where treasures are, it'll tell you if something's blank, um, and that other map over there is like the outside area, so I guess they kind of share a map screen there. Okay, so let's keep on going, and now I need to hit that switch that I really should have hit the first time, but I'm an idiot. Yeah, and that opens up those switches there, and I'm gonna fall down this one in order to get this treasure! Oh, we get the Crackle Flow! Awesome. That deals 40 ice damage to all, so it's even better than Crackling. Uh, this one I am going to give to David. Let's see. If I could actually open up the menu, that would be great. Yeah, like I said, you're gonna be spending a lot of, the t of time um, in this menu, I've got to say. And it doesn't help that, like, it takes, like, six or seven cancels or something just to cancel out of a menu. And, yeah, we're all the way back here. That's just great game. Great. I am not really a fan of this volcano area because, number one, there aren't any enemies to break it up. Number two, it's not exactly mazy, but it's just annoying insofar as that there's so many different, like, holes and pits to fall down. Um, that you're going to be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to grab all this treasure. Um, and it's not like it's hard to grab, again, it's just annoying. I don't know, I, I think I would like it better if there was just a couple of enemies here. Although it is kind of cool how there are, um, uh, what is it? How it's kind of like side school. It reminds me of uh, Link's Awakening there. Oh, hey! Oh, yeah, maybe it melted or something. That is true. Ooh, ooh! I'm gonna ooh! Yeah, that's a different game. <laughs> are we playing Grandia or are we playing Final Fantasy VI? Whoa, holy crap, you just bit him! Man, what's your problem? Oh, you have the key. Oh. Great. And you're cackling like a mini-demon in the Dragon Warrior games. That's just lovely. Oh, a pinky fruit! Sweet! Oh, 
Oh, and I learned the Pinky Throw skill. Awesome. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna need that for later. Well, what's the gift? I guess the key, I guess. Bloodily Persistent! Yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, what's this? Uh-oh. Yoinks! I guess we can't go inside those hot springs right now. That's kind of upsetting. Oh, you know what? See that little floating up pointer arrow thing? Whenever we got the last key, there was one of those too, so I guess that's the symbol for the key. I don't know why they couldn't have just made a key icon, but okay. Durlin! Hmm, another person that I had to look up. Yeah, he was one of the three wise men of Lane, and he had a lot of knowledge of the Icarian civilization back in the original Grandia, but again, he was just an NPC. Like, I don't really pay any attention to NPCs. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go on over here. Uh oh fire! Let's see. We hit this switch, that'll bring out that fire. And then we'll hit this switch, that, that fire. And now we have Pinky, let's hit the B button, and I'm gonna toss him straight into the lava. Because apparently we don't really care about animals. And Pet is gonna go after us. Okay, perfect. So we hit both switches using our new Pinky Throw skill, which opened up this bridge right here. Oh, a monster! Oh, but what do we have? The Recover ability. I believe that that recovers paralysis. I'm never going to use it, but it's there. Oh, I don't like how they're faster than me. Ooh, 40 HP. Wow. Uh-oh. Doinks. Oh, man. Oh, poor Sue. That really sucks. Okay, let's see. We're gonna have you use your Water Shot ability. And we're gonna put you on... Well, let's see. We'll use it on that one. We'll put you on four. Ooh! Got a cancel effect. Uh, because it's a boost. Whoa! Holy shit! Well, that sucks. Uh, I could resurrect her, but I'm gonna use Crackle Flow on all foes. We'll put him on four as well. Um, giving him a reflect effect. And let's see, we're gonna put you on Crackling. And we're gonna put you here on four as well. Okay, wow, that was pretty rough right there. Um, back to that cancel effect that Sue had. Basically, what that allows is for one of the attack hits, it's going to cancel out the uh, the enemy's attack right there. Oh, well, she didn't get any experience. That kind of sucks, but oh well. Okay, so yeah, took them out. Oh, good lord. I'm going to have to get a warp point and uh, recover her. But let's see what these other people have to say. Oh, Gadwin and Alma. Huh. Looking for that medicine. How convenient. I already reached the switch. So yeah, you can go in here to a little dungeon. And I'm just going to come in here just to recover um, and heal up Sue right there. But I don't want to do that yet. What I want to do is go over here. Hey there, the Jet Mole. Oh, really, you can find cards. Awesome. Of course I wanna try. Yeah, I definitely wanna check this thing out. So let's just head on right inside. Now, this mini game, it's rather obnoxious because like the Jet Mole moves so slow and then you end up hitting these walls that you can't see and it bounces you off and everything. So, yeah, it's just rather obnoxious, but you can get some cards from this. And you can do this as many times as you want to. So what I would recommend doing is playing this a bunch, getting some extra cards, like this one right here, and then the, the, the times that you go through it, um, just using the fast forward feature just to make this as fast as humanly possible. We just need to get to the other side. Right there. So yeah, I'm gonna go through this a couple of times to get a whole bunch of different cards. And then next time, we're gonna go through this secret area. Yeah, this is, whoa, we're gonna fall to our doom. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a different area. This is the core area. And we're gonna be going through this area to find Derwin next time. All let's play Grandia Parallel Trippers. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.